Let's begin with the latest news from Kaduna. Two persons were set to be severely injured after an ID detonated at Hayin Danmani community in Igabi local government area. Meanwhile, suspected terrorists also allegedly invaded the Kaduna International Airport and prevented the Lagos inbound Asman aircraft from taking off. So what do you make of this um, you know, latest development? Yeah. In the last few days, up to 120 persons have been killed by bandits in Kaduna State, in um, uh, Kagoro, in uh, Jama local government, Kaura local government of Kaduna State. Bandits have been attacking communities and taking people's lives as if people's lives do not matter. Now, the Kaduna airport is the most dangerous in our country because the airport, behind the airport is a huge forest. And this forest leads to Brilingwari, which is one of the most dangerous parts of our country because of the presence of bandits in that area. Bandits have been operating with reckless abandon in the Brinengwari area. In the airport in Kaduna, flights don't operate throughout the day. In fact, before now, flights, incoming flights, will not come in as soon as it is 9 a.m. That was done to protect passengers and even staff of the of the um, farm, Federal Air Force uh, Aviation, um, um, what do they call FAAM. So, what has happened today is not entirely a surprise to me because remember that in that same area where the airport is located. Uh, students of the Forestry Institute of Faka in Kaduna were kidnapped and they were in the hands of these bandits for weeks. So that whole area is dangerous. That whole area, you have a lot of bandits operating uh, with reckless abandon, attacking um, bus passengers along the Kaduna bridge. It's a situation in which because we have not done enough to to protect that come boulder and they are now being seen uh, to be attacking uh, kill people so it's not uh, a, a big surprise to me that they came to the tarmac they came to the runway and actually prevented the the aircraft from taking off because once the pilot sighted armed men, he took the decision to 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 not uh, take off. Once the once once he saw uh, gunmen on the on the runway, so I just hope that we can do a lot better at protecting our people. If our people are being killed in their communities in Kaduna, we don't expect that air travelers would also come under uh, any form of threat. Our airports, the perimeter of our airports should be protected sufficiently so that the bandits or terrorists, as, uh, as some people call them, would not be able to constitute any threat to, to um, uh, people who have chosen to fly because our roads, our highways are not safe.